All right, welcome to today's class again. We have a challenge on the board. This challenge was actually dropped by um, a viewer or a subscriber. And uh, it says something that, uh, uh, is there any better or smart way of solving this challenge? Yeah, I'm going to solve this challenge here using two different approaches, okay? The one you feel better or shorter, the one that causes time, then you can pick either of them. So if you knew yet, this is all I must TV where we roll out mathematics challenges all the time. Mind cracking math only paired question all the time. So how do we solve this? Okay, so you take a solution, selection. Look at the question. The question is a plus b equal to five as equation one and a times b equal to five as equation one. Now the first approach I'm going to use here, I say let's take first method test method the first method is very easy all we need to do here is that we are having five here we are having five here so we can equate equation one to equation two so equating equation one and two so this will give us a plus b is equal to your a b easy okay now from here what do we do here we can make a the subject of the formula or b the subject of the formula from equation two so if we make a the subject of the formula this will be what a is equal to five all over b okay so from here let's make a the subject of the formula in equation three. no let's start with b so making b the subject of the formula here then we can say here from equation two from equation two we have our um, b is equal to a uh, five all over a so wherever we see b in this equation here then we put in five all over a so substituting what happened we're going to have here to be you know, a okay let's say this implies that our a plus the what is b is five all over a is equal to what a then again what is b b is five all over a close bracket teaching good yes all right so let's go back again now yeah we can use this to cancel this so this and this leaves the system after they have gone what happened we eliminate this a here so we multiply through by a so if we do that this will give us here a to the power of two plus five equal to five a move this term to this side of the equation to give us your minus 5a so we have here a to the power of 2 minus 5a plus 5 equal to 0 easy because this is carrying a minus sign sorry plus sign on this side so when it crosses to this side of the equation it turns to your minus a so if you look at this this is a quadratic equation so we solve this quadratically so what we do here now because we cannot factorize this we use the formula method the quadratic formula method so what does that formula say it says that your a is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared the minus 4 ac okay this is c the all over your 2a okay so all we just need to do is to bring out the value of a b and c from the system here so let's continue on this side of the bar so what is our a we know that from this a is equals to the coefficient of your a square which is one and b is equals to the coefficient of a which is your minus five the c is what the constant 10 which is also five so let's go ahead and substitute into this system so we now have our a is equal to minus bracket minus five plus bracket plus minus this is plus with minus the square root of bracket minus 5 r squared there minus 4 into your um, a is 1 there into your c is uh, 5 positive 5 here yeah. okay all right so rule over everything all over 2 dot 1 which is 2 times 1 okay so we use this to multiply this so this might give us here positive 5 plus minus the square root 
of here we give us 25 then here we have minus 4 times 1 times 5 will give us minus 20 everything all over your 2 okay so if we go ahead with this this will give us your 5 plus into the square root of if you take this away from this we are left with 5 everything all over 2 so we have two solutions for our a here now so we're having a1 and a2 from this expression here now easy okay so let's just quickly write down the value here so we have here a1 is equal to your 5 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 and a2 is equals to your 5 minus the square root of 5 into your 2. So now we've gotten these two values now. What do we do next here? We look for the possible values of our um, B. All right. Now for us to get our B from this system here, we can either put uh, a B into equation 2 or into equation 1. Because we've already made B the subject of the formula here. But when I try that, it will give you the same answer. But if you put B into this system here, it's going to lead you to a sword whereby you're going to rationalize. Okay? Same thing if you do that here, you are going to rationalize. But for all to save time, let's put it into your A uh, equation 1 here rather. So from equation 1, we may be the subject of the formula. So we'll say this to this side. So we'll now say from equation 1, from equation 1, then we have our B is equal to your 5 minus A. So let's continue on this side. So B1 will now be equal to our 5 minus, look at our 5, yeah, our A1. So we have here bracket 5 plus your square root of 5, close bracket, all over 2. Okay, this is all over 1. So finding the LCM of this and using this minus to open up this bracket, then this will now give us here 10 minus 5 minus, because this minus times this plus will give us minus, so the square root of 5 all over 2. So if we do this subtraction here, this will now give us 5 minus the square root of 5 all over 2. So we are having our B2 is equal to this. Good. Teaching good? Yeah. So we we'll look for our B2. Okay, so our B2. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's B1, please. Okay. Yeah, it's B1. Okay, so our B2, we do same thing. So I will have here 5 minus A2. So this now implies 5 minus our A2 is bracket, I mean 5 minus the square root of 5 plus bracket all over your 2. Finally, the LCM, this gives us here 10 minus 5. There, here we will not talk to plus. Okay? Root 5 all over 2. So, again, this will now give us here your 5. There, plus. Yeah. Plus root 5 all over 2. So, this is our B2. Okay. So, we succeeded in looking for our, our B1, B2. A1, A2 from here now. Okay, so what we do here is just to keep these values because we want to use the second method and see if it will give us same values. So these are the answers from the first method. Now let's check the second method and see what happens. Now in the first method, if you recall, I equated this to this. But in the second method, what I will do here is easy. I will either make A the subject of the formula in the first equation or make B the subject of the formula. So if I make B the subject of the formula, so now say from equation one, from equation one, we now have our B to be worse. So we have B is equal to five minus A. So we can put this into our equation two. So wherever we see B, we put in this entity. So this now implies that our A into your five minus A plus bracket equal to your five. Okay, so we can use this to open this. So we have here 5a minus a squared equal to 5. We just have to rearrange this. If we rearrange this, 
move this to this side take this this to this side and move this backward so we're going to have minus your a squared there plus 5 a minus 5 equal to 0 multiply through by minus 1 so this will automatically give us a square minus 5 a plus 5 is equal to 0 okay now from here the essence of multiply through by minus 1 is to eliminate this minus sign here okay so all we need to do here is to use the quadratic formula like we did in the other uh, method so we have our a is equals to minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared minus 4 ac everything all over 2a now if you check carefully we're going to have our a to be 1 so we have a is equals to 1 okay b is equals to minus 5 so b is equal to minus 5 and c is equal to your positive 5 so if we substitute that i will only solve for the first row so if we substitute that so we're going to have our a is equals to your minus minus bracket minus 5 close bracket plus minus the square root of your minus 5 r squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 okay every year all over 2 times 1 so this gives us 5 plus minus the square root of your 25 minus 20 everything all over 2 which is equal to your 5 plus minus the square root of your 5 all over 2 so our a1 so we have a1 is equal to your 5 plus root 5 all over 2 then our a2 will now be equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 all over 2 now let's stop here and compare so from the first method, we have our a1 is equals to 5 plus root 5 all over 2. Look at what we have here. Same. So, B, uh, sorry, a2, we have 5 minus root 5 all over 2. Look at what we have as our a2. Teaching good? Yes. So, it also means that if you put these values again into this expression here, okay, to look for B, we are going to have this and this to be same. All right. So, We've seen the two different approaches we can apply in solving this challenge. Either out there that is okay by you, adopt it. And if you have a better way, quicker way of solving this without wasting much time, then drop it in the comment section. Remember, I love you. Every one of us at Online Mass TV loves you because you are the reason for the existence of the channel. Teaching good? Yes.